Hello YouTube! So set 10 is upon us and I wanted to do a quick video just talking about some big mistakes that I think people are making a lot. Well, I'm looking at the stats so I guess I should say I know they're being made a lot. Um, I'm just going to quickly run through some of the stats and we're going to see things that people build a lot that you probably shouldn't be building or items that are kind of getting neglected that have very very good stats. So gonna, for this specifically I'm going to be talking about items but maybe in future videos and installments we can talk about you know some of the way people are building comps and whatnot. So first off, we're going to start with Caitlyn. Now, Caitlyn is not a great unit overall. If you look, 49% win rate, 10%, sorry, 10% win rate, 49% top four rate. She averages not gaining ELO, and that's pretty bad for a four cost, right? When we compare her to the other four costs in the game, most of them, their average placement, which you see here, is below 4.5, which means they average gaining ELO. But Caitlyn doesn't, Ezreal doesn't, uh, Viego doesn't, Zach doesn't unfortunate for them but the thing with caitlin is i think hers is a little fake because when we look at her items her second most built item in the game is averaging it has a plus delta which means it's worse than average like okay obviously in general caitlin's just not that good because a lot of these items in general like her top two items being built are averaging below 4.5 but when we look at last whisper giant slayer shojin deathblade hodge guard breaker red buff like these are performing quite well but her most built items are kind of her worst right now. Um, maybe not like literally, maybe there's a combination of like IE, Hodge, Shoujin or something. Like if we look at them in trios, which you can on um, tactics.tools, but I'm not gonna make this video six hours. But the main takeaway here is especially Gwinsu's, just don't build it. Like it's it's a champ that's not doing well and she's doing extra bad if you build Gwinsu's, which is her second most built item. Stop building Gwinsu's on Caitlyn, tip number one. Uh, I would write maybe not even IE, but if you do build IE, maybe mix it with Hodge and Guard Breaker, like the other two crit ones. I would imagine those are quite good. But yeah, let's let's actually just check. Let's check really quick. Infinity Edge. Let's we're assuming she has IE, and then yeah, her average placement goes up a bit if we don't <laughs> build Gwinsu's, but we build Guard Breaker, Hodge, 4.14, 4.12, right? So IE is obviously a little better, but just don't build Gwinsu's. It's not worth it. It's just it's bringing her placement down quite a bit. All right, talking about the next one, we're going to talk about blue buff. Now, if you watched my last video, I talked about staying flexible. And uh, one of the things is that sometimes you'll build a blue buff early with the intention of playing like Ari. And then you, it turns out you want to pivot, right? Like you hit chosen TF or chosen Ezreal. Like, okay, I guess I'll play that. Um, the thing is that, okay, yes, Ari with blue buff, quite good, right? It's her second most built item and it has a very good delta, right? She averages a 4.0 pretty much. Very good. But the thing is, Ari with Shojin is actually not that much worse. It's almost exactly the same. Okay, it's not exactly the same, but her average, she wins a bit less often, but she top fours in general pretty much the same amount. So the point I'm getting across here is that Shojin is a much better flex item in this set. I'm not saying never build blue buff. Of course, build blue buff. But if you're playing with the intention that I'm a, I'm down to flex, I'm not going to just play Ari, then build Shojin, right? Um, I'll show you another example. So we'll switch to Ezreal. Let's say you found Ezreal instead. You're like, hey, I guess I'll get I had blue buff. That's fine. It Ezreal with blue buff is significantly worse than Chojin. Ezreal is just kind of a dog shit champ in general. So I would recommend not playing it right now. But Ezreal with blue buff is a plus delta. He's doing worse. He's averaging a top four 39% of the time as a four cost. Okay. I would not advise putting blue buff on Ezreal. I would not advise playing Ezreal too much in general. But Spear of Chojin, he's averaging better than average. You know, he's winning 12.4% of his games. Not the worst. Pretty good. Uh, but overall, Ezreal is not that great. But if you're building blue buff, like there was some talks that maybe Ezreal with blue buff is good because he has a low mana cost. It's not that good. So I don't think blue buff is that good a, a flex item. The other one I want to talk about is Twisted Fate. I've seen people put t blue buff on Twisted Fate this set. Not all that common, but it happens and it's bad, right? Plus 0.22 Delta. It, he's averaging losing you ELO when you put a blue buff on him. Whereas when you put a Shojin on him, it's one of his best items. It's one of his most popular items. So yeah, the point for this one is essentially if you want to play with the intention of flex shojin is way way better than blue buff okay next uh unit i'm gonna talk about a specific unit here and it's annie so a lot of people are saying one cost rerolls aren't great and i actually was watching dish soap stream earlier today and he went he played annie reroll twice and he went first first and he mentioned that the big issue with annie is that a lot of people are just building blue buff um jeweled gauntlet with her and he doesn't think it's correct so i checked the stats He's right. So if you get a chosen Annie and you really want to play towards um, three star, blue buff jewel gauntlet will actually give you a worse delta, 
right? It's averaging 4.14 still, so it's good. So we're saying one cost pre-rolls aren't viable. Kind of trolling already. But what he was recommending, which looks like super broken, is you go Shojin plus Nashers. And look at these. It averages 3.8, 3.6, Shojin and Nashers. And then your third item, as he said, is should be your super fan item. Yeah, just use the third item as your super fan item, which I think she gets a Rabinons, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, 100%. If you're going to reroll Annie and you have the luxury of choosing, you know, you can greet some items. Shojin plus Nashers are so, so much better than uh, blue buff Jeweled Gauntlet, which seem to be her go-to, like her most popular. Just not performing, not even close. Like, they're still good, right? Average placement 4.1, as I said, good. But 3.8 and 3.6 is insane. Shojin plus Nashers, great combination. It makes sense, right? You're autoing fast between casts. Your autos are giving you more. She's just casting super fast. Maybe even faster than blue. Well, for sure faster than blue. Um, yeah. So that's the third tip. If you're going to play any reroll, try out this build. It's very, very good. I watched uh, Dish Soap stream and it performed immaculately. Um, the next one we're going to talk about is Gwinsu's. So as we talked about with Caitlyn, right? Uh, Gwinsu's is her second most built item and it's bad. The thing is, even if you get to the five cost, a lot of people, the, you'll play a champ like Caitlyn or Ezreal, then you get to the five cost champions, and maybe you find Chosen Jin, Chosen Lucian, and then you're just like, whatever, I'll sell my items, give it to that champ. These champions are also doing much worse with Gwinsu's. It's his most built item for Lucian, and it's a plus delta, which means it's worse than average. Lower, better for delta, okay? Again, he's a five cost, so it's still good. Like, he's still doing well. But all the items we mentioned earlier are just better, i.e. Giant Slayer, Last Whisper, Hodge, Deathblade. Shojin's not the best, but Shojin's still good. Red Buff is doing really well on these AD carries. Guard Breaker is doing really well on these AD carries. Shojin is such a popular built item, but it's one of the worst performing on AD carries. Now, some champions like Sona use uh, it well. If you're playing reroll MF, it uses it well. Obviously, I'm not saying never built Gwinsu's. Don't, like, don't take that away. But if you have the option and you really want to play AD, I would uh, recommend against that. I actually think uh, maybe Twisted Fate is okay with Gwensu's. Let's find out. Yeah, it's not bad. Again, it's not his best, but it's not bad. I think you should like rather go like Shojin Shiv even, but it's not bad. Like I said, Sona, TF, Reroll, uh, MF, like they, they, they use this item well, but if you're playing flexibly, I want to build a four cost AD carry, Ezreal, Kate, whatever, into the five cost later. Shojin, or sorry, Gwensu's Rage Blade should be kind of the last item on your radar if you have to build it you build it obviously right you get rid of the components if they're there and you can't build anything else of course build Gwensu's but if you have the option go for items like guard breaker death blade last whisper giant slayer all the other good stuff we just saw okay so for the last tip this is kind of a general tip i'm gonna talk about so let's just look i'm just gonna spoil that i was gonna try to make it all like hyped up but i'm just gonna talk about it so there's two tank items that are relatively new one's brand new the other ones uh came in 9.0 or 9.5 and that is crown guard and steadfast heart both of these items are really really like good and just flexible overall right so we look at echo echo in general is performing pretty well right a lot of the items people are building are correct but look at steadfast heart 0 0.77 delta He's averaging a 3.5 with this item. This is a good item. And I'm going to show you other champs. And they're just doing so well. We look at Crown Guard. 3.69. Both of these items are not being built very often at all. On like champions in general. I feel like people are kind of scared to slam them. And it's for a good reason, right? This uses a crit. Maybe you want your crit for something else. This uses a uh, rod. Maybe you want your rod for something else. If you're saving rod for Gwinsu's, you're making a mistake. As we just talked about. But in the case where you can slam these items, especially early. Crown Guard is a very good early game item. That a lot of units can hold you do it because these both of these items are performing so well like look at this 0 0.77 0 0.63 we're going to switch to some other common tanks that i wrote down here blitzcrank we look at his deltas again people are in general building good items on him but look at crown guard zero negative 0 0.7 delta he's averaging a 3.7 when you build crown guard it's the better than every item above but people are scared to build it for whatever reason we look at steadfast 0 0.55 it's the second best on this list that people are not building very often right people are going for the more traditional warm mugs declaw gargoyle and yeah it makes sense these are like what we've been building for years and years in this game and again just want to preface i'm not saying every time you see crit plus uh armor you slam steadfast maybe you need that crit for something else but if you have the option you, you're not really saving it for another item slam these items they're very good they're performing so well on every tank that you like you care about right you look at zach again his average overall people are building right out 
uh, items overall. Then we go to st Steadfast, minus 0 0.57. It is just so good. It's so much better than some of these other options. Thieves Gloves is good, but usually Thieves Gloves has a high win rate because you're kind of just giving it to units like uh, like as you can because you have nothing, uh, nothing else to give to people. 0 0.56 for Crown Guard, and these are not very popular. And besides Thieves Gloves, they're the best. People are not building them often, but they're so, so good. Alawi. Another four cost, uh, sorry, five costs you might get to her. You're building all these items. Again, they're not bad. Steadfast Heart, zero point, negative 0 0.52. So much better than these other options. She averages a three, okay? That's insane. Again, Thieves Gloves, usually people just put on Thieves Gloves because they have no other, they're just like ran out of item slots almost. Um, it's like a luxury item, so it usually does have a high win rate. Crown Guard, 0 0.51. Besides Thieves Gloves and uh, Steadfast, second best option. These two items in general are just doing so well across the board. Let's just go to items here. So we look at it, if right now it's by play rate. Okay, Gwinsu's has a high play rate and it does do well on some champions. But as we mentioned, you see these champions here. None of these are Ezreal, none of these are Caitlyn. Um, if you're playing these champs, you slam Gwinsu's, but people are slamming it a little too often, I think. And then the more popular options are something like Warmogs, Sunfire, and they're good, right? They're averaging 4.1, 4.0. They're not bad, 4.1 for Dragon's Claw. None of these are bad. But these items that are kind of insane are being played so much less steadfast heart averages a 3.7 okay it's like the best thing on my page right now better than thieves gloves adaptive helm also really good maybe i should should have checked adaptive helm for all of them as well because this item's insane as well and it's good because you can flex it right so one is one of the best card is one of the best and you can put it on frontline maybe we should have added adaptive helm but for the sake of the video we'll keep it to uh steadfast and crown guard because adaptive helm is being built pretty often but these other ones are not right so where's crown guard crown guard 3.8 but it's not even being built once per game, right? Like people are not slamming this item, but it's performing so well. And Kane, I forgot to talk about Kane. He holds Crown Guard very well. People think Kane's like not that good right now. I built Kane Crown Guard. I mean, admittedly, I was already like playing some funny hard still had infinite items and he was going off. Like it's good. It's such a good item that people just do not seem to like. Again, I get it. It uses a bow and people love their bows or sorry, rod for these two items. But if you don't particularly need these two items and especially Gwinsu's, like I said, you probably shouldn't be super tunneling on it unless you're playing, you know, Jinx reroll, KL reroll, MF reroll. Uh, might want to use that that uh, rod for a crown guard or maybe you use it for jewel golems. you're playing all right yeah i get it i get it i just wanted to give you guys the data you do what you will with that so yeah, those are the big five ones that i noticed right off the bat i'll do this kind of video more if there's anything specific you'd like me to look into i mean you could look for yourself but i know some people just like listening to other people talk about this um what's good and what's bad in tft that's something i always watch whenever i'm commuting or trying to fall asleep so i hope uh, you guys enjoy it as well if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about leave a comment i would appreciate a uh, like and a subscription if you like what you saw stay beautiful my friends we're going to challenger